What's up, guys? It's Nicofish1000 sitting in my room or standing. Let's sit down so you can better film this. Um, so I purchased a new 10 gal to replace the one where the seal broke, and that will probably be used for some sort of terrarium purpose. Uh, but I was in a hurry, so I didn't realize that the tank was chipped. Here, it's actually a pretty ugly chip. I mean, I'm still, I'm sure it still holds water, but it's not something you want on a new aquarium. And I cut myself on the chip. I normally am opposed to band-aids, but I'm going to be hopefully working on stuff, so I don't want anything getting in that. Um, picked up some food, some algae wafers, black clothes, some more fish food. And I also got this 1.5 gallon cube. Which isn't, it's plastic if I'm not mistaken. But it was $30 and what I, I realized it could probably go a lot cheaper perhaps running like a 5.5 glass with a small whisper filter. That's like what, 10, 10, 20? No, nah, it still come to run 30. But what I like about this is it's got uh, LED lighting. So I'm not sure how good that is for growing plants, but um, uh, we'll do some research and then decide whether I want to keep it based on that. So let's do an unboxing and let's see what it's got. So it's got 1.5 gallon aquarium, uh, integrated LED lighting system, a whisper filter, which aren't great. It's one of those in-tank filters, uh, power adapter, and well, setup guide. Now obviously we're not going to be putting any fish like that in one of those platies in the aquarium. It's probably just going to be for plants and possibly shrimp. Though, to be honest, since I only do SA, South American fish and shrimps and whatnot, I wouldn't want to put cherry or something in there. I'd put ghost shrimp, but they look kind of bad. Okay, so first impression, it's got this black thing, which is presumably the light. And it feels kind of flimsy, actually. Look at that. But maybe it's not assembled, so let's take everything out. And then we'll decide. It's got a lid. So a plastic lid, Very standard. it's clear looking plastic so it's nice, some packing materials, let's pull out the tank, it's heavier than I thought it would be so it's a good indicator as to the quality of the plastic, hopefully it won't distort or anything. Got this tiny little filter. Oops, something just fell off. It's pretty cute. I mean, this is probably really all you need to filter 1.5. I mean, it's going to be heavily planted. I didn't have any time, I was in a rush, so I didn't have any time to look for or pick up any fluval stratum, which I've been hearing good things about. Let's see what else it comes with. Power adapter. And let's see. It's kind of hard to do this one handed. It's got this bag in it. A little setup guy. Pretty standard stuff. A little box. Presumably the power cord. So if any of you have any ideas as to what I should plant in it, uh, please just comment or perhaps stocking or whatnot. Or uh, what's it called? Substrate. Just comment on the video. I'm not experienced in planting aquariums. It's pretty much going to be. I've done it before with native plants and stuff, but I've never really actually tried to do it well. <laughs> I kind of just, uh, pardon, but half-assed it. So we got this here. Let's take off the plastic. So, any advice, comments, just hit me up. I'll be on the chat at uh, Dark.
can't even remember. Dark Aquatic, I think. Whatever, I'll, I'll put it in the description. I just forgot the website URL. So the plastic's clear, that's good. That was one of my concerns. Hopefully it won't scratch too badly. It's got this little stand. It, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's a nice little aquarium. It's got the LEDs up there. So, so this isn't exactly... Oh, yeah, that's why. So this, the little light thing goes, moves up and down. That's pretty cool. Probably to allow, to fix stuff. So that probably accounts to why it isn't exactly sturdy. So, um, let's plug it in and give it a try. Um, so if any of you have been on the chat lately, uh, I was recently in some degree of misfortune. Um, my 10 gal seal broke. And I was going to transfer the fish temporarily to a 2.5 gal. And I left that unattended and when I came back, it cracked. I suppose it cracked because I put it... I normally... I always do this. Like, I wash out my tanks with hot water just to kill anything that's in there. Not not boiling hot, but hot. The way I figure it is... Bacteria or anything, parasites that live in fish tanks aren't going to tolerate extreme temperatures. Give me a second here. I'm going to put down the camera aren't going to tolerate extreme temperatures, so... Oh, wow, this is actually... Nah, I didn't realize that was kind of stupid of me. That's, uh... It's for the filter. You can see the impeller in there. Okay, that was kind of... Derp. Um, where do I plug this in? Okay, there we go. Oh, power. It's in here. Let's test this out. Back here. Okay, yeah. I figured as much. Okay, so we're not going to test this out because it appears that if you plug it in, the filter goes off automatically and it's not good to run your impellers dry. So that's kind of, that's a no-no. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, see you guys. Comment. I don't know, rate, subscribe, whatever. I feel like that's something standard to say at the end of a video. Uh, see you.